Welcome everybody, welcome to the start of the fourth Queer Spirit Festival. I think the largest gathering, I'm going to suggest, the largest gathering in the world of LGBTQ plus people celebrating spirituality. Those for lack of religious groups at this festival, we are about connecting spirits. We are about who we are, not what we believe in, but what we manifest. Who we are. We're here. We're queer. We're cosmic! Who was at the 2019 festival? You really know what I'm saying. <laughs> These are the words with which I closed uh, my in the closing ceremony of the 29th Fifth Festival. This is how we closed the festival. I'm going to repeat them again to open this one. We are the queer ones, remembering the ways that humanity once danced with the Ancient of Days. Known as the Great Spirit, the Great Mother, the Divine, we are the queer ones remembering the time when the dance was of joy, seeking harmony with nature. Before those bishops and Bibles brought our ways shame. before emperors and kings turned life into battle, before the rich and greedy stamped on the poor. But the dance is eternal and the wheel is turning, queer spirit is rising and we are called once more to remember the ways of the Ancient of Days, reclaiming our role in life's sacred whole. Uh, I want to thank uh, the uh, spirits and the trees and the plants and the animals and the land owners, the land keepers of Bridwell Park for hosting us for this for, for this festival occasion. Uh, Ivor and James, I want to thank them very much for letting us come and camp up on this special piece of land. Brody's World Park. Bridwell Park and then Bridge from Bride from Bridget, the ancient British goddess. There's going to be a place where people came to receive her healing waters, to receive the magic of this special space, and we've been welcomed back to do that here. This park has only been open to the public for seven to so eight years, and it's the first time there has been a festival on this side. So immense to you. We are sharing the park not only with humans and trees, and all the, but with a herd of deer that you may have seen, you will see around the place. A beautiful herd of deer run free in this park. So kindly I'm filming, don't say piss it or fuck. We would like a zero tolerance on litter. Policy. Yeah? Fairies <laughs> leave no trace. Yeah. ceremony which is going to involve uh, going outside to finish this but before we do that I'm going to say a little bit more and I'm going to introduce you to some of the key people who've been working on the festival. Uh, my motivation, my name is Shakti. Uh, my motivation for this comes from my personal transformation while living with HIV AIDS in the 1990s so that led me to the place of search for spiritual awakening, spiritual understanding and an awakening of the, of the spirit within me. From my gay caterpillar, I emerged into this dragon butterfly creature <laughs> through, through a cocoon called A. And I think the LGBT community embrace this healing potential within us to wake up to the fact that all our healing crises 
so in our community, be they AIDS, be they addiction, be they mental health crises, they are all potential gateways to healing, to transcendence, to awakening, to greater understanding. That's what we come here to celebrate. But as we know, the commercial gay scene is very caught up on the uh, superficial, on the, the money, the culture, the sex, the looks, etc. We, we, we ignore our hearts and spirits at our peril. We are more than minds and bodies. We are minds, bodies, hearts and spirits. We are earth, air, fire and water. And that's why we invite you tonight in this ceremony to open your inner gates to the elements. Your inner gates to nature. So we collectively invite in the nature spirits to heal us and help us become one. We call the festival Reclaiming Queer Nature. This is a bit serious, so I'm going to go there. We claim queer nature from religions that said that love between people of the same gender or gender fluidity or unnatural. Somehow against nature. There's only one strand in human civilization in which such a crazy idea developed. But that strand was a very, became a very strong, powerful strand. So much. So, that it became accepted and legal systems started to adopt this philosophy. In the Roman Empire, in the late Roman Empire for the 6th century, and then in Europe from the 13th, 14th century, in Britain, in England from the 16th century, a love between sex between people of the same gender was outlawed. Made not only illegal, but the death penalty. The death penalty in England from the 1530s to the 1860s, and the, de the decriminalization of sex between men in 1967. We are a people that has had its spirit held back for so long, that we have even we forgotten what it's all about. But then along came psychology in the 19th century, medical science, and the idea of the gender binary, still fit following this pattern of what was natural and unnatural. No other cultures in the world came up with such a crazy notion. Now, throughout the world, throughout time, throughout history, there have been people who were fluid in their gender, fluid in their inner being, fluid in their love, with other loving people of the same gender. These people were not seen as abominations. They were seen as gifts. They were seen as jewels amongst the Native Americans. But when the Europeans arrived in North America, they saw all these camp uh, bum-fucking shamans and called them the Badash. The Badash. And this became the official anthropological world for the next 500 years until the Native American Two Spirits changed its changes to their own name in the 1990s, the Two Spirits. Badash is an ancient Persian word for a bottom. It was to pour shame on the shamans by calling them bottoms. Throughout the world and throughout history, gender fluidity, same-sex love and the sacred have been intimately intertwined. This is a history that has been hidden from us. It's what we all have in common, I suggest. Whether we're gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered, queer of any kind, what we have within us is this ability to shapeshift. This ability to marry the male and the female and the queer. Are we not all products of this solar system? Does your birth chart does not tell you straight away that you are Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn? All these energies are active in your system, male, female, neutral, non-binary. We are all, all of them. So I started as a gay, identified as a gay man in this life. Eventually I chose the word queer, I turned to queer as a much more encompassing, freer term. But I'm trans. Aren't we all trans? Are we not all trans? I call to gay men to own their inner femininity. And stand with trans people around the world. And call to us all to recognize this inner fluidity. What does it gift us? It gifts us gifts of the spirit.
some of the people who have been helping us come along. We're going to spend the next five days exploring these gifts of the Spirit. Let's thank some of the people who have been helping this place come into being. I would like first to thank the Psych Crew for all the work they've been doing. I'm Dan, we and me and my incredible site crew, thank you folks, you are just awesome, have been here for a few days making this. For you, and you're here. Woo! Dan, I forgot. Dan, I forgot to say something there, which is recycle. I'll put your rubbish in the bin. <laughs> See, I get all the glamorous jobs. <laughs> For recycling, all of our recycling goes in the black dustbins that are around the site. Everything goes in together. Wash it, please. People go through it and sort it for you. Glass and food go separate, and those bins are at the cafe. That's it. <laughs> and pick up your litter. Yeah, yeah. Right, keeping us safe and making sure that everything goes safely around the place, we have our team of stewards. Peter Pan in the house. Okay, stewards, some of you must be in here. Show yourselves. And of course, looking after many of other need, all our needs is the beautiful welfare team. If we need to. <laughs> the welfare space here, anybody want to speak? No? And with the welfare team, we also have a first aid crew on site. First aid team here. I'm sure you can all find these places around the fields. Looking after our bellies, of course, is the, is the beautiful fairies at the cafe. It's our cafe master here, Fairy Bone. Yeah. Oh, okay, no worries. <laughs> Let's keep moving because we've got we've got performers wanting to get on stage this evening, and DJs wanting to get playing, and a fire wanting to get lit. <laughs> um, Photography. We have a few photographers uh, appointed. Camouflage is one here in the centre. You won't rec you won't see him because he's camouflage. Uh, there's Epiphany, and you may even see one or two others people who have been asked to record the event. So you don't necessarily have to. You can, if you want, put your phones down, put your cameras down, and trust that there will be a whole album of photos for you to look at in a few weeks' time, and you will get to say if there's any you don't want to go public <laughs> before they go public. How's that for a deal? Uh, so, so like, realise if you don't want your photo taken, you're just perfectly at liberty to let that be known. So the photographers will absolutely respect that. Thank you. Let's talk about the Village Hall. Anyone here from the Village Hall? Hello, Sprite. Get your drag in the village hall, go get your drag on, makeup station in the village hall, lost and found, information on workshop changes, program changes, and lovely people to go talk to as well. Uh, the crafts, we have a crafts area this time, we've by Apollo, over there, cute. <laughs> campaigns, any of the campaigns team in this evening, we have our activist campaigns, over here, there they are. <laughs> You're welcome, happy, very happy to welcome Tribal Voices, Festy Crew to the to Queer Spirit for the first time. Welcome Tribal Voices. They will be hosting an all night fire space from 11 pm starting tomorrow night at the, at the side over here in that area. Uh, and I'm very happy to welcome Kaylee Jade and the ladies from Let's Be Mindful. And you can hear us. Kaylee! Thank 
you like to do you like to tell us say something, hey? Hello everyone. Hello. So I don't really speak on the mic very much. I'm going to keep this quite short. Uh, we are Lesby Mindful. Um, if you would like to come and join us in the women's space, we've got such a range of workshops for you to try. Um, we've got a couple of people from the team here to introduce themselves. Um, we've got Sheba, we've got Nikki, I'm Kaylee, um, and we've also got Nikita, we've got Rowan and uh, another Katie um, joining us tomorrow. Um, some of the workshops that we've got, we've got psychic skills, we've got, um, I'm doing a sound bath, we've got, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? We've got uh, bushcraft and uh, wild women in nature. <laughs> Somatic sexology, orgasmic yoga, um, be seen the space to be witnessed, and also your pussy is a portal. I think that workshop's going to be very busy. <laughs> so get there early if you want to join that one. <laughs> um, essentially, Let's Be Mindful is, um, is uh, luxury glamping weekends. Um, we've got an event coming up in September. It's mid-September, we've got a few spaces left, come and find out all about it. But we have like mini, mini wellness, um, like a mini wellness weekend, we've got a wild spa, we've got a lake, we've got loads of different workshops for you to try and some of these guys are going to be there as well. So hopefully see some of you this weekend in the women's space. Thanks for inviting us as well, Shakti. <laughs> Uh, I'm the organiser of the other workshop programmes. There's workshops going on in the workshop dome, the campaign space. Uh